You're on the lot with Stephen Hill here at Jaguar Land Rover West Houston. Richard, I'm making this video for you. So here's your 2019 Chevy Silverado. It's the new body style. Check it out. All right, to be honest, this is my first look at the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Uh, it's the 1500. It's pretty cool. It looks like they changed the whole front end. It has these little um, white pieces that kind of come in to surround the bumper. Got the big Chevy um, bow tie right there on front. It looks like these are all LEDs. Uh, for the lights with your fog lights right in there so they've gotten away from the the xenons uh, the color is kind of this pearlescent white if you see that it's like a high gloss metallic and it's not like a bright white kind of an off-white color which is pretty cool um, these are bridgestone tires let's see what size there if i can find the yeah it's a 275 60 r20 it's a texas edition uh, it's got the running boards on it it's like keyless entry on um, these two doors, probably on the other side as well. It's got like a little cheater mirror on this side and the other side just regular. It's got the bed liner from the factory. A little bit of hay still in there. We need to clean that a little bit better. Sometimes these trucks in our car wash are a little tougher. Got a little beer can window up there. I'm not tall enough to really see the roof up there, but you do have a sunroof up here. See that? Then you got these little um, steps in the bumper, which is pretty cool. So you need to jump up and grab something up in the bumper. It's got towing on it, the hookups, your three prong or your five prong uh, hookup. It's a clean truck, looks good. Looks like there's a little bit of an air dam up here. See how the air can flow right through here. It makes it a little more aerodynamic. So you're not just pushing all that air, you actually can flow around. I'm impressed, you did a good job. All right, let's check out the inside. I'm gonna break the video here, flip to the inside of the truck. All right, let's check her out. So this is kind of a, a brown with a gray interior. It's got a little bit of wood in here. Pretty straightforward, you know, your mirrors, windows. Looks like the driver's um, window's automatic down. Your cargo light looks like a jellyfish launcher. You see that or not? Trying to be funny. It's got the rubber mats. It does have power seats. These are kind of like a textile seat or a cloth, but it's pretty rugged. I bet you it's treated with um, waterproofing stuff. So when you spill stuff on there, it just kind of bubble beads up. Just dry it off. This is kind of cool too. I figured this out earlier. So there's a hidden storage compartment where you would sit right there. And then you got to pull this little loop right here and there's your armrest where you got your cup holders little storage under here as well so um, that's pretty cool pretty good use of space and this just folds back up locks in place let me jump up and fire her up i might have her running already i don't remember if i turned it off there must be different drive modes so i think you can switch over to um snowflake mode racetrack mode or middle mode here let's see if it says anything so yeah all it does it gives you a racetrack flag right there Snowflake. It's gotta be a middle one. How do I get to right here? And then off. So it looks like there's a trailer mode too. So um, any Chevy guys, please chime in, leave some comments. It's got a heated steering wheel. Sorry, uh, Siri likes to jump in. So um, it's got a heated steering wheel, Bluetooth. So it's got um satellite radio. There's your backup camera. I don't know what these modes are for. I guess that's the line up to hit, hook, hick up your trailer. Kind of hit the mark. The line right there. There your grid lines. It does have the heated seats, left and right temperature controls. This is kind of fun, the evolution of um, charging. So you got USB-C, USB, cigarette lighter, and wall outlet. That's kind of wild. I like that actually. Looks like you got double glove boxes. So they went really for storage. So you got a Upper glove box, maybe for sunglasses or stuff. And your lower glove box, got the owner's manual and everything. Seems like nobody ever reads those things, but there it is. And then um, your rear view mirror is a little bit wider, a little bit different look. Some of your um, sunroof controls. You do you have the sunroof up here? Truck smells clean, smells like a new truck. Um, even though only it has 30. 35,846 miles on it. 
Um, super clean. Pretty impressed, actually. All right, let's check out the back seat, see what we can find back there. All right, let's check out the back, see what we can find back here. And it's a lot of space, so you can't really see it in the video, but um, a lot of space back here, a lot of headroom too. Got this little pull tab here. Let's figure out what that is. Huh. So it's like a little storage, quick access compartment where you can just basically pull the back cushion out. Have some storage back here. Like I said, it's a defined compartment, so it kind of it's closed in. So you got that, and I think the seat just raises up. Get a little storage under here too. It's probably like the crank for the jack under here. That falls down. Get some more uh, charge points back here too, and some AC vents down low. That's kind of cool. So it's kind of blowing cold air through here. You got your cigarette lighter and two USB chargers. So you got three different charge points back here for I guess all three people. Got the sliding rear window right here. I think it's power. I think there's a button up there on the roof. I just didn't play with it. Looks pretty good back here too. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Doing a good job here, Chevy. Let me raise the hood up. I haven't looked under there, so let's check that out. All right, let's open the hood up. Let's see if I can do this first try. First try. So you kind of slide this sideways to open it up. Really clean and super quiet under here. There was a Carfax uh, reported on the front of this car twice, believe it or not. And I'm just gonna look to see if I can see any indications. All right, here's how you um, can see if there's been a fender adjusted, you know, where they get to take it off or adjust it. See that bolt's been turned? There, there, and there. So they've either taken the fender off um, or, or um, replaced it, but this feels original, like I'm not feeling any paintwork. So um, this fender's probably been off and they might have had to get under here, you know, because it showed front end. This fender right here has been off too. See that screw, screw, screw. All three of these have um, had a tool on them. But again, this feels like original paint to me. So I think they took these off and we're working on stuff and they're here. Got it all put back together. It's probably why we got the car priced where it is. And it's all back together. Looks pretty good uh, all through here. All right, that's the first look for me on a 2019 Chevy Silverado. Texas edition. Please like, share, subscribe. Give me a call. This is my cell phone. It's 832-724-0244. Call me. Let me know what you're looking for.